It occurred to me that I've taken this bike all over the world in all conditions in many of my bikepacking films, but I've never actually shown you it in detail. This is my new and improved Cannondale Topstone. Out of all the bikes I own, this is the one I've used the most. This is my go-to bikepacking bike. And it's literally been everywhere. It's cycled from Land's End to John O'Groats, the North Coast 500, the Atlas Mountains in Morocco, Iceland, California, and many more. And I absolutely love it. I bought this bike in 2019, summer 2019, for 700 pounds. And at the time it was an absolute bargain. When I first got this bike, it came with some pretty naff components and Shimano Sora 9 speed, which was okay. But naturally since then, I've made a lot of improvements. I started by adding a 105 hydraulic group set from another bike, 175 millimeter cranks, and I fitted my osymmetric oval chainrings to this. I'm a massive fan of oval chainrings. I've been using them for well over 10 years now, so I don't plan on changing. I know a lot of you have asked about that, and I will be doing a video at some point explaining why I love oval chainrings so much, but this is my go-to setup on pretty much all my bikes. You might be wondering why I fitted road gearing to this, given that it's a gravel bike. Well, at the time, Shimano GRX wasn't that widely available, and I already had this on another bike, so it made sense to swap it over. There's only been a couple of times where I felt like I really needed more gearing on this, especially when it's heavily loaded, going up some really steep gravelly climbs. But on the whole, the 105 group set with the long cage rear derailleur has been fine for most things. I then fitted some Hunt Mason X 650B wheels to this because this is a 2019 model it was before most gravel bikes got really fat tire clearance so as a result the tire clearance on this isn't anywhere near as good as you get on most gravel bikes nowadays but by running 650B wheels it allows me to run 1.9 inch tires which is what I'm running here Panaracer Gravel Kings and for most things that's absolutely fine there's always a lot of debate about 700C and 650B but I've actually been using mostly 650B on this bike even on my road Trips, even the North Coast 500, I use 650Bs on there. And when you're running semi-slick tires like this, you hardly notice it personally. And that added puncture protection is what I'm after. The last thing I want is to have loads of punctures when I'm out on my adventures. Until very recently, I just had some basic gravel handlebars on there and some aero bars that my dad gave me that he had in the garage. Pretty basic, but for most things, it was absolutely fine. I liked having multiple positions on the bike to keep myself comfortable. This year though, I have changed the handlebar setup, which I will talk about in a second. For my bike packing setup, I pretty much use the same thing time and time again. It's mostly a Topic setup. I'm not sponsored by Topic. It's what I've been using for a long time because for my filming setup, it works really well. At the back, I have a Topic MTX trunk bag and that's fitted to a Topic MTX rack, which is screwed into the frame. Thankfully, this has pannier eyelets. I then have a Topic mid-loader frame bag, a Topic top loader, top tube bag and normally i haven't fitted it on this occasion i use a front loader roll-up bag as well i found for most things that allows me to carry pretty much everything i need from my filming equipment to my camping equipment and everything in between this bike has done way more than a 700 pound bike should ever be asked to do but it has handled it like a trooper. It's been literally everywhere and it's gone in all conditions and it's starting to get a little bit beaten up, unfortunately. If you have a look, there's plenty of scratches, plenty of scuffs, it's still going strong, but I'm conscious that it's probably not gonna be able to take this sort of abuse for a very long time. Given that it's an aluminium frame, eventually if you start wearing into the frame or it gets battered about a bit, there's a chance that you could weaken the structure of the frame. So I'm gonna keep using it for as long as I can but I'm conscious at some point it's gonna to have to go to the great bike shed in the sky. So what's new for 2024? I've been using this setup for quite a while. There are a couple of things I wanna show you. Firstly, looking at the forks, I fitted some Old Man Mountain axle packs. Because these are old forks, you can't fit anything to them. There's no like cage mounts or anything like you get on most modern gravel bikes. So as a result, I fitted these axle packs, which allows me to add bottle cages, or in this case, an Old Man Mountain Titanium King cage, which allows me to put some dry bags on there and strap it to it, or some really big water bottles if I wanna carry more when I'm going out to the desert, for example. They screw into the through axle so I can leave them on all year, not really notice them, and just swap the cage depending on what I need. And lastly, I decided I wanted to improve the cockpit setup and make it a little bit more comfortable. So I've added a redshift suspension stem and seat post, 
And as well as that, some Redshift kitchen sink handlebars and quick release aero bars and all of their grips as well to give me maximum options for different positions on the handlebar. I've also widened the aero bars. I used to run them really narrow, which was fine when I used to do time trials and race and things, but now I just want to go fast and be comfortable. I've extended that so that it's about shoulder width, which might not look as aesthetic, but it's much more comfortable. So that's it, that's my Cannondale Topstone. Out of all the bikes I've owned, this has probably been the one that I've enjoyed the most. For what I paid for it, it's been unbelievably good and it's taken me to some incredible places. I love it so much and I really will be sad to let it go when it eventually gives up the ghost. Any questions about the bike, please let me know. I'm sure there's something I've not mentioned. Stick them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.